understand today that I just want, man, go turn those lights back on. The devil ain't going to win here. We're going to get those lights on. What's going on? Some bizarre stuff happening around here. Thank you, Cedric. Come on. You know what? The devil just wants for the church to remain an audience. An audience. Let me ask you, is that what you are? Are you part of the audience? It's okay to be part of an audience in the church like this. But let me tell you something. God's not looking for an audience. He's looking for an army. He's not looking for an audience. He's looking for an army. The world will not be won in a sitting position. Come on. We've got to go. We've got to be prepared. We've got to be ready. And God is looking for an army of proclaimers. You say, well, what's the first step to becoming a part of that army? The first step is grappling with the very questions that I shared today that are really deep questions from the heart of God. Deep questions. And as we grapple with that, we've got to say to God these words. Lord, would you give me a burden? Would you give me the sense, Lord, of, of, of understanding what it is to be in this world without you? Because you see, it's easy once you've been saved for a long time. I don't know about y'all, but I've been saved a while. Come on. I was five years old when I gave my life to Jesus. That's 55 years, half a century. It's easy to start taking the whole thing for granted, right? And we've got to put ourselves in that place. We've got to say, God, do, do we remember? And that's one reason why I love Celebrate Recovery, because I watch these testimonies of people that are out in the world, and they're hurting, and they're broken. And, and let me tell you something. The good news is God loves them, can redeem them, can lift them up, can change their life. Come on, somebody. But it begins by saying, God, would you give me a burden? Would you stand with me today? Thank you for just letting me share